Welcome back to Path to Programming, where we're continuing our video series on the tennis game, Refactoring Kata. Um, so, so far we have renamed some fields, some methods, we've extracted some methods, and we've uh, we made things a little bit cleaner. We unrolled this for loop last time. And today we will be doing a refactoring called replace conditional with polymorphism. Okay, so where we're gonna do that is right here. This is the conditional I'm talking about. So what we'll do first is we'll define a class down here. So we'll define an abstract class called result. There are two score Let's put a constructor here. And now let's give it an abstract method. Okay, and we'll call this get score as text. Okay, and so let's start with the draw result. So we'll have a class draw result extends result. Okay, and at this point, all we're doing is adding the new thing. And so we haven't changed anything so far. So what we'll do is we'll copy this right here and do this. All right, um, and now let's actually call this instead. So what we'll do is we'll say return new draw result. Okay, and that's all passing. And let's move on to the next one. Now we'll do advantage or win result. So same pattern here. Okay, and we'll do the same thing. We'll copy all this code. And now we'll Return and then we'll do the ongoing result. Okay, and we'll copy this, move it down here. Also, have to copy this right here. Okay, and now we're calling the ongoing result get score as text. Okay. And so now what we can actually do is just inline all these. Now the next thing we can actually do is um, have a factory method and push this conditional into that. Our factory will actually use a domain term. So uh, if you've ever watched tennis, um, there's a referee that sits on a on a high high chair and watches the game and determines the result. So the name of 
that person is the arbiter. So we will be having an arbiter here. And an arbiter will have a method that returns a result. We'll call it determine result. Okay, and we'll bring this out. Just get rid of these calls. Okay, so now we push this conditional into this method. Let's make this public. All right, and now we can call return. Let's actually make it static. So we'll say return arbiter dot determine result. Okay, and we can actually just get rid of all this because they're all going to be the same. Awesome. So we made them identical and we had some duplication. Now we eliminated that. Now look at this class. This is now. 22 lines right here. Of course, we would remove move these into their own files. I can easily do that with a F6 and move them all. I'm going to keep them all here for now. So now we have an arbiter that determines the result. So we'll jump down there. We determine which class will return of type result. So this is your basic factory here. Alright, so that's all for today. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time.